Mulibwanji Zambia Mulibwanji Zambia I am giving you some time to take your pictures so that you can stop taking it because if it is Jesus you won't have your phones like this so take as much as you want you have one more second <laughs> all right did I get it right Muli Bwanji Muli Bwanji Zambia I can't hear it Muli Bwanji Zambia <laughs> Zikomu So have you had enough with your phones? Are you ready to keep them aside now? Okay. So you can have your seat briefly. We raise your altar in this place. Oh, rain. Jesus, rain. We raise your altar in this place. Oh, rain, Jesus, rain. We raise your altar in this land. Oh. Jesus reign 
When I go anywhere, I ask the Lord to speak because the Lord has a word. The Lord has something in his heart. The Lord has something he wants to do. You might be thinking you got it because you made it possible. You might be thinking you got it because you had some money to pay. But before the foundations of the earth, today was mapped out by God. Nothing is a coincidence with God. And when you wake up this morning or you woke up and you could breathe, it is because God still has a purpose for you here on the earth. Every time we wake up, every time we wake up in the morning, it is because you have a God reason, God purpose to be up. So you don't take your life and play with your life. You are serious about your life. If God was looking to just fill the place with people who don't understand what he wants to do, then there will be no point. Because remember, the trees worship him. The ocean worship him. The mountains worship him. And if the reason you believe that the only reason God created you and made you wake up this morning is so that you worship in songs but not in your life not with your life not understanding that i am here i am awake i'm alive today because god has a reason god does not waste his time he does not waste anything so everyone here there is a god reason for you hear me he doesn't care how messed up you are he uses the messed up. That is how you can share your testimony. I was this and now I am this. So even if you think you were so far away, I tell you, I'm not trying to encourage you. I'm not trying to give you pet talk. I'm not trying to make you feel good. I am saying that God uses the messed up. Check your Bible. So I don't care how you came here today. God wants you that by the time you are living here, you are not just singing about him. You are living like him. You are looking like him. You are talking like him. That's what God wants for you. Zambia is rising. It is time for Africa in the volume of times. And it is time for Zambia. There is a passion for Africa in my heart because it is time for Africa to directly influence the world. 
not indirectly we have been in, indirectly influencing the world for a long time but God is saying it is time for Africa to directly influence the world and it is time for Zambia to arise to the call not to individual pursuit it is time for Zambia to arise to the call of God it will be from Africa to the ends of the earth Zambia it is your time Africa's rising is sure but she must rise with Jesus Africa's rising is sure nothing can stop it but she must rise with Jesus so she can fulfill the will of our Creator if she does not rise with Jesus she will be a danger to herself and the world if she rises without Christ she will be filled with revenge and she will quench the fire of love if she does not rise with Jesus Africa is playing a pivotal role in this end time Africa will directly influence the world it has to do with God's purpose for the entire world and the shaking has already started in Africa that will reset Africa for good. Zambia, the Lord is doing a hard work in you. Zambia, the Lord is doing a hard work in you. Zambians, raise an altar for the Lord in your heart. Zambia, raise an altar for the Lord in your heart. Not just a physical altar, but in your heart. Zambia, God is uniting your voice. No more we will have different, different ideas about who God is. God is uniting your voice. Oh, did you hear me? Did you hear me? God is starting a new covenant with you, Zambia. He's changing the covenant he had with the fathers. He's starting a new one with you. Zambia will no longer glorify men, but will glorify God. I'm giving you the word of the Lord for you. Zambia will no longer glorify men, but will glorify God. Zambia will discover new treasures in their land. And this will increase their wealth. Zambians do not sleep. Keep watch of your gates from fake prophets. Zambians do not sleep. Keep watch of your gates from fake prophets. A river will flow in Zambia that will displace complacency. Zambia will allow God broaden her horizon. Zambia a shout is coming out of this quiet land that will go to the ends of the earth. Children, adults, the old, the young, the boys, the girls, everyone will hear this shout that is coming out of you. In this scripture the Lord has for you Jeremiah 31 31 to 34 it says behold the days are coming I say the days are here declares the Lord 
when I'll make a new covenant with the house of Zambia and the people of Zambia not like the covenant that I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of captivity my covenant that they broke though I was their husband declares the Lord for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Zambia after these days declares the Lord I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts I will be their God and they shall be my people and no longer shall each teach his neighbor saying know the Lord for they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest declares the Lord for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. The Lord is cutting a new covenant with you Zambia. It's not like the days of old. He's going to use you mightily but he wants it to go from the building to the heart. He wants it to go from the building to the heart. He wants it to be entrenched in your heart. His law, his doctrines, his word stay in here. So while you're at work, you are like Jesus. While you're on the street, you are like Jesus. And no more will your voice be shut down. There is a shout coming from you that nothing can shut down. It will break the barriers of your land. It will break through the barriers of your land. It will break through the borders of your land. It will go to far countries. That shout and that sound will go from normal people, ordinary people that will do extraordinary things for God. Healings will be normal on your streets. Deliverance will be normal on your streets. People will see people that are sick and they will lay their hands and they will be healed. A revival breaks forth among you, Zambia, because the Lord has a plan and a purpose for you. The sick will be healed by normal people. Young people will heal. Old people will heal. In the last days, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, says the Lord. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. It is that time when nobody will fool you. You will know what is real. You will know what is true. You will know what is real. You will speak and it will be done on the streets. You will have power. You will have courage. You will have boldness. You will have faith. Rande kosonde yali ando si ke pali anda. Ena no satega. Some of you in Zambia thinks you have seen wealth. You haven't. It is coming, but your heart needs to be for Jesus, so that when He comes, you will make it count. He will honor you with wealth, but your heart needs to be sold for Jesus. No longer Zambia will you sell the gospel. No longer Zambia, your streets will be filled with people who carry the fire of God. No longer Zambia will you hold your wealth, hold your money from God. No longer Zambia. The root and the tree of religion without Christ is uprooted from Zambia. It is uprooted from Zambia. Zambia will not do religion. Zambia will do Jesus. 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 With power and proof. In this place today is 
not just going to be about miracles. God is appointing people that will go on the streets of Zambia, the streets of Lusaka, the north, the east, the west of Lusaka, the north, the east, the west of Zambia, and they will bring deliverance. They will set the captive free. They will set the captive free.
need your money. Your heart. Give it to him. Your heart. So that everything else you give to him, you give him your money, it will be accepted. You give him your praise, it will be accepted. You give him your worship, it will be accepted. But first, your heart.
says you can't be rich and serve him? Who says you can't be fine and serve him? Who told you that? But you need to know where your riches stop. You need to know where your beauty ends. You need to know when to drop your beauty and stand as a soldier. Because tonight, he is raising armies. Armies that are not afraid of the season and the times. Armies that are not afraid of the season and the time. These are the last days. These are the last days. These are the last days. The deception is more. But there are armies rising. Soldiers rising. Soldiers rising. With beauty and bread. Soldiers rising. With ideas and bread. But with the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost.
rise up with the name Jesus. When they come to stop your sleep and they oppress you and you feel that weight, Jesus will come through. No longer will you be oppressed in your sleep. I speak deliverance. I speak deliverance. The yoke shall be broken because of the anointing. And right now, the yoke is broken. He who the sun set free is free indeed. And so in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every lawful captive,
you can still remember yourself you are still too big for God you feel so important for God let me tell you something when I entered this place from the first to the last minister I was on my feet not because I'm not tired but because I know who they are talking about some of us you don't know who they are talking about the ones the angels and the elders never cease to worship do you think he's angry for your worship he does not lack it so if you must give it you must give it in reverence you must give it in reverence to the one who deserves it some of us we think of ourselves so much I didn't stand because I'm not tired I stood because I'm before the king of kings before the Lord of Lords whether it's Ephraim whether it's chosen generation whether it's Deborah whoever is ministering you must see the Lord most of us are looking for superstars you need to see the Lord Jesus is the only star in our kingdom stop looking at people give Jesus the honor due to his name stop it By the way, scripture says, they that wait upon the Lord, they are the ones that renew their strength. You have not waited for 10 hours. Your leg is paining you. Who are you standing before? If you are really in his presence, even your legs will be healed. If you are in his presence, that limitation will be removed. You need to know who you are before. new river is going to flow in Zambia not a river of religion but the river of Christ men and women will be on fire Malawi will hear it Tanzania will hear it South Africa will hear it every neighboring country America will hear it the sound that will come out of Zambia America will hear North America will hear South America we here, Europe we here, Asia we here, Asia we here. There is no limitation with God. Yes, when you want to help them, help them gently. It is the Spirit of God. Gently, you can't help the Holy Ghost. So you have to be careful yourself. Because sometimes we even disregard the Holy Ghost, not knowing how to handle. If the Holy Ghost is ready with you, can you stop him? Reverence! Reverence! Oh Lord! Set these ones on fire! For you, let them burn for you. Oh Lord, set their lives in order for you.
fire. Everyone that Jesus used, the fire came upon them. The fire rested on them. And when the fire is burning, no one can stop it. No one can change it. The fire will burn. It 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 will burn. And it won't stop. It will burn and burn and burn and burn. The fire is not a respect of persons. It burns. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's the fire of the Lord. That's the fire of the Lord. That's the fire of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. That's the fire of the Lord. Yes, that's the fire of the Lord. Yes, that's the fire of the Lord. Yes, yes. 
free indeed. You rejoice. Don't use your phone. I will send you far away from here. You don't know how to honor God. You don't know how to respect the Spirit of God. Everything is about capturing. And yet you will have nothing inside. You will want to capture. Capture in your heart. Drop those phones. Have an encounter with God. This generation, we are used to phones. Anything, phones. When you are making love in your room, do you carry phones? You are before the Lord. Blind Bartimaeus, they say, Jesus, son of David. He was shouting. The woman with the issue of blood did not say, Jesus is passing. Let me video him. You don't have issues. When you have issues, you hold the hem of his garment. You don't make videos. You don't take pictures. You hold the hem of his garment. He says he's making a new covenant with you. Let it be engraved on your heart. On your heart. When your phone is full, you delete. Did you capture it in your heart? Can I ask you, did you capture him in your heart? The kingdom of God is not meat. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. So even when you rejoice in the Holy Ghost, you are still before God. You don't now take your phone. Your rejoicing can set you free. Your rejoicing can heal you. Your rejoicing, it is not prayer. That is what your rejoicing can do. The Bible says with joy, you and I draw from the well of salvation. You have needs. How you come is with joy. So when I tell you to rejoice, I'm not saying use your phone. It is silly of us and the church needs to repent. The church needs to repent. This is not a party. This is not a show. If you go to the club, if you do, that's your business. Go and do what you want to do there. But don't stand before God when you should honor the Lord. Even what you call the house of the Lord, you don't honor him in his house. But you forget that you are the house of the Lord. You are the temple of the living God. And you should honor him. Don't break Kairos moments for silliness. You want to video and say, oh, I was here. Who cares? If you are truly there, what they will see is you burning for Jesus. What they will see is you taking the nation for Jesus. What they will see is you healing the sick. Not with your phone, I was there. Who cares if you were there or not? Did you get transformed? Were you filled with the Holy Ghost? Did you go with boldness? Are you looking at mountains and you're speaking to them? Or you are still there, being oppressed, being depressed? What happened to you when you attended? I didn't want to rebuke you, but I want you to have wisdom. God is not man. Let's stop some things we do. God is not man. God is not our mate. God is not in our class. When you come before him, you know who you come before. If you go before the president, you comport yourself. How much more before God? Honor the Lord. Respect the Lord.